It's Nicolas Cage as Nick Cage in the new film, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, where a fictionalized version of the iconic actor is down and out, having to channel some of his most memorable characters to save himself and loved ones, including wife Olivia, played by Sharon Horgan. Take a look. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you, I do. Is it too much? Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. You have like a billion projects going on right now. You're producing, writing, and starring in several of them. What was it about this one that made you want to join on? I just, I love the script. Um, I spoke to uh, Tom and, and Kevin, who co-wrote it with him, Tom Gormican, the um, director, and just their plans for it. And then I knew, you know, I knew obviously Nick Cage was yeah. going to be in it. There was no way of him not being in it. Um, and that was just a massive draw, you know, like who gets a chance to do that? It, it just felt like something I would one day you know, have a really good chapter of a, get get a really good chapter of a book from. Now, we mentioned that you have so many projects going on, including co-creating The Shining Veil. How did you come up with this idea? Patricia, what are you doing in my house? Not seeing ghosts. Not ghosts. One ghost. My producing partner had sort of, uh, um, mentioned to me that, um, you know, there might be something in the idea of a family moving into a, a house where murders had taken place. And then I thought, you know, usually I write from my own experience. So um, it had to be sort of at the centre of it about a, a woman who's, you know, um, kind of at a crisis in her life. And then I just thought, you know, what if, what if, what about what if no one else can sort of see what's going on apart from her? You know, is it going on in her head or is it really um, is the house really possessed? And it just seemed to uh, to go from there. The idea of it being, you know, like uh, if The Shining was a comedy, um, you know, so I, I, I took a lot of um, inspiration from that and then uh, brought in the brilliant Jeff Astroff to um, make it even better. And and suddenly the next thing, you know, we have um Miss um, Courtney Cox attached. And, Amazing. And, uh, like it was all full steam ahead from there. Yeah. And news just broke out about Bad Sisters on Apple TV. Can you tell us anything about that? Which you write, co-produce and star in. I mean, amazing. It's another, you know, sort of genre um, piece, which is I'm finding uh, that I'm really, really enjoying. You know, I used to be straight up sort of um, relationship um, comedy queen and now I'm, I'm sort of delving into different genres and it and it's just proving to be a really great way to, to tell stories this um, Bad Sisters is based on a, a Belgian series called Clan and I really don't want to tell you too much about it but it's about five sisters and one of them is married to um, a really bad man okay. that they, uh, yeah that they're sort of um, they decide to try and get rid of Okay. Well, we are excited for all of it. It was so lovely speaking with you. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Nice being here too.